The Northern Police Orphanage was founded in 1898 by Miss Catherine Gurney OBE for the care of police force children who had lost one or both of their parents. It was later renamed St George's House. The home supported 644 children between 1898, when the first child was welcomed, and its closure in 1956 due to the declining number of children in need. 2018 marks the final reunion of the St George's Old Boys and Girls. Old Boys and Girls have been attending reunions at the Majestic Hotel in Harrogate for over 50 years with the weekends typically comprising a meal at the Majestic, followed by a trip down memory lane at the Police Treatment Centre, Harrogate. A reunion was started some time ago, and then it yeah. fell into uh, neglect Every. almost, and then a person called Elsie Bradley started, started it up it. again about 15 yeah. years ago. She did, she did. And she did an awful lot of... She managed to find and where we are the, we are the ones that are still left, which are still coming. Yeah. The, the final, final official reunion. Yeah. Yes. We may get together a few of us again. I think so. I but think we've been school. coming for what? 50? 50, 50. Well, I haven't been coming for 50 years. I have. Because we have actually come to the end of our formal reunions. We do intend to continue with our mini reunions. But this really is only the end of a chapter. Uh, the St George's Trust continues to service and look after uh, children who have found themselves in some tragic circumstances, very similar to the circumstances that I found myself in almost 75 years ago. So I hope it does continue and I know that it will. This year the old boys and girls were joined at their reunion by some supporters of the Trust who were pleased that the old boys and girls had benefited from their time at the home but were keen to highlight the importance of the continued work of the Trust. My connection is that my uh, great-grandfather was one of the uh, original patrons of the uh, St George's Charity um, and was then, uh, as, as I understand it, uh, uh, the, uh, the main the chairman of one of the main committees running, running the establishment for a period of uh, somewhere in the region of 15 years, I think. And then my grandfather then took over from him and continued to be clearly in an active in, in every aspect of the place, wouldn't be the only member of the general public who would be unaware that actually there are consequences and, uh, uh, shall we say, of all police activity that require remedy, um, and that uh, uh, you know that the trust is then there to to fill that important role. I believe over 600 children went through the doors of the orphanage and you can imagine the dire circumstances really when a child was left orphaned and fortunately for them they were able to come to the orphanage here in Harrogate. You may say well the original orphanage had served its purpose but what I would say about the centre here in Harrogate is that we have the thin blue line. We have the officers who work daily on our behalf, keeping us safe. I'm vice president of the police treatment centres, and the St George's Trust is part of that. So it's a very great privilege for me to be here at the final reunion, 50 years uh, of reunions, and this is the, the final one for the Trust. But that's not the end of the story, because we're going to go forward with the St George's Trust charity to make sure that the children of peace officers can carry on being supported. In 1955, the St George's Fund was set up to provide weekly allowances to police officers' children. The allowances were used to provide support, maintenance, education and advancement in life until a young person left full-time education. This was entirely funded by subscription from members of the police force. The fund eventually became the St George's Police Children Trust, which continues to provide support to police officers' families to this day. 
Police officers can donate the small sum of £1.50 per month from their pay to be eligible for the support of the Trust. St George's Police Children Trust continues to need your backing to provide financial support to families of police officers when the unimaginable happens. Currently, the Trust provides assistance to around 300 children and young people each year, making financial grants of approximately half a million pounds. Times move on. You know, homes for children <coughs> are really not the best environment for children. No. The best environment is their home, their family. And therefore, if you can help them to preserve that life, mm. I think that's very good. Whilst 2018 marks the final reunion of the old boys and girls, it also heralds the start of an exciting new chapter for the charity, seeing new benefits introduced, including driving lesson grants and child counselling grants. These new benefits are offered alongside the existing benefits, which include weekly support allowances, seasonal gifts, ex gratia grants, special needs grants, and the use of our Harrogate Holiday Home. In addition, changes to eligibility will allow the Trust to provide support to families should either parent lose their life or if a police officer parent can no longer work due to illness or injury sustained on or off duty. To find out more about how you can donate to St George's Police Children Trust or to find out more about the work of the charity take a look at our website. All police forces you know, should be encouraged to make a donation. You never ever know when you're going to need the help and support that the St George's Trust can provide. Uh, it has helped so many children, so many families, and I know for a fact it's going to continue to do so, but we need your support as well. It really has been a very, very interesting weekend. Not as emotional as I thought it was going to be, but nevertheless, you know, one chapter closes and another chapter begins. So all power to uh, the Police Treatment Centre and the St George's Trust.